Uh, we have uh, seen that uh, the Olympic Winter Games Pyeongchang 2018 were opening the doors for political talks and uh, since then different summits have been uh, taking place and uh, in fact uh, also the two uh, leaders uh, from uh, South Korea, President Moon and from North Korea, Chairman Kim, have uh, asked us to uh, continue to support their talks of rapprochement through actions in sport and this is uh, what we are doing. So just in a couple of days uh, we will meet uh, the two uh, governments and the two national Olympic uh, committees to see how the IOC can contribute to peace on the Korean Peninsula and in the world. We still have a long way to go. Mountains. Perhaps we can inspire. <laughs> Thinking of this uh, gives me goosebumps uh, until this uh, very moment. It was a great uh, mixture of uh, joy and relief uh, because uh, the negotiations about uh, this uh, joint march were finalized only four hours uh, before the opening uh, ceremony. So when I finally saw this uh, flag in the tunnel of the stadium, it was really, I think it was uh, tons of stones which were falling from my heart. The legacy of uh, these uh, Olympic uh, Games is manifold. Uh, first of all, uh, you have an organizing committee which uh, was working extremely well in the end and uh, had uh, even a significant uh, surplus in uh, all their activities. Uh, you could see the hard legacy with uh, the much better infrastructure for the Gangwon uh, province with uh, the two Olympic uh, villages uh, which have been sold out even before uh, the Games. You have the new uh, high-speed uh, train and uh, you have uh, many world-class uh, sports facilities of which we hope that the legacy plans will now come into fruition so uh, that uh, all the people from the province and all the future generations in, in the province can benefit from the outstanding success of these Olympic Winter Games Pyeongchang 2018.